Modern medicine, the science of health, is constantly evolving. New procedures and treatments emerge daily, but the field of medical learning is one beset by controversy. One such institute has started a firestorm of debate that shows no sign of abating. Join us as we go inside one of the medical world's most provocative new schools. Well, when I first started my medical training, uh, I realized a lot of what we perceive as medical knowledge is in fact outdated or just don't work. So I began to explore alternative forms of medicine, much of it based on my own experience, which led to the creation of my own method, which I refer to as dirtbag medicine. What is dirtbag medicine? Dirtbag medicine is a method uh, which centers around the application of smokes and tall boys uh, with a specific focus on going to town and having a good time. For example, uh, a patient comes in with an abdominal puncture wound. Now, most doctors are going to want to operate immediately to close the wound and stop the hemorrhaging. But here we give the patient a Belmont, 300 cc's of old Milwaukee, plus a snap of the wound to show that he goes hard and to impress chicks. About a week ago, I came in with a burst appendix. I was expecting him to remove it or something. But instead, Dr. Trevor told me to be a man, prescribe me with a pack of palm oils a day, and to watch highlight reels of sick takedowns. As expected, the school has drawn the ire of many prominent medical professionals, many of whom are calling for the college to be shut down. Trevor Dunn is debasing medicine with this school. It, his methods are unscientific, they're dangerous. He prescribes cigarettes and Mickey D runs for serious medical conditions. The man is a disgrace to the profession, but it works. God damn. But Trevor's school continues to grow. Ryan Ledoux, known to his fellow students as Rye Guy, is one of the school's star pupils. Before that, I was laying drywall with my daddy. Piece of work that man was. But I got into medicine at a young age. After I got on my grandma's pills, like any kid would. And, uh, you know, helping people and all that. But Dr. Trevor, he, uh, he was impressed with me when I treated a wound with some Windex. You know, they don't teach that in no books. Plus, a buddy there is in my hockey pool. You know, I like the way he teaches, though. He, uh, he makes you know, he makes you know what you don't know that you know. He's smart. <coughs> Plus on Friday nights, uh, me and him like to hit the town and uh, get in some oxy. All right, all right, right, right. We have an incoming patient who's fixing the tranny on his 87 Trans Am. Color? Cherry. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, bud. Accidentally smoked his dome on the chassis now has frontal lobe edema. What do we do? Get him started on a drip of Old English, get nice and liquored. Nice. <laughs> yeah, not bad, but Old English is a little heavy for a cerebral abrasion. Determine the uh, responsiveness of the patient um, by asking him what's under the hood of the trance. <laughs> <laughs> nice, boy. I want a hypertonic saline solution with a follow-up of corticosteroids. <laughs> no, this guy will be Boys, boys, no. Give him 100 cc's of Coors Light, uh, and get him to Mari. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's almost a champ for drilling it down there. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, Peter Powder, let's get at her. Human endeavor is filled with outliers, and Trevor Dunn may be one such outlier. As the school continues to garner controversy and media attention, one thing is certain, Trevor Dunn is not going anywhere. We're losing him. I need three darts, stat. 